Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a fuse from scratch. You will need 36 grams of stump remover, potassium nitrate. You will also need 24 grams of regular table sugar. Mix the two thoroughly several times back and forth until they are completely and well mixed. Now you're going to want to do this outside, preferably on a grill. And it doesn't matter, it could be a gas grill like this one, it could be a charcoal grill. Now, you're also going to want a small pan of water, preferably one that you can thoroughly wash or one that you don't use at all ever and get the water hot you want to put about a third of a cup of water in the pan then pour your kno3 fuse fuel mixture into the hot water and stir to thoroughly dissolve it Now there's going to be some residue, especially at the, toward the end. But the entire KNO3 mixture will thoroughly dissolve in the hot water. You just have to give it some time. Now I don't need to use all this. And like I said, most of it will dissolve and it will probably all dissolve over time. As you can see, it's getting less and less. Now, to make this fuse, I'm just going to make a short one. You're going to need a paper towel cut into a rectangle or square. So, I prepared three the same size because I want to make this. I don't want to make this a thin fuse. You could make it a thin fuse, but for this, I'm going to make it a thick fuse fuse. So, I'm going to put these together and I'm going to let them soak in the KNO3 melted mixture. You want to let them soak for quite a while. Doesn't have to be a super long period of time. But you want to let them soak quite a while. Now, once I roll this, it's going to be a pretty thick fuse. Now, the other things you can use besides, you know, paper towel, our bath tissue, and 100% cotton yarn also works. Some items work well, some items work better than others. So, 
spin it around a little bit. Let that fluid, let that KNO3 mixture thoroughly seep into whatever item you use for your fuse. Okay. Now once you've let it once you've let it soak for a while, carefully remove the item you're going to make the fuse from. Now you're going to have to let this dry. Lay it out somewhere flat. Hang it over something. You're going to want to let it dry for at least 24 hours. <clears throat> and because it will not burn well while wet. So I'm going to let this dry. And in my next video, I'm going to show you how it burns after I've rolled it into a thick fuse. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Wishing everybody in the United States a very happy Thanksgiving this week. And I'll see you next time.